Hey, good afternoon, guys. <clears throat> and this afternoon, I'm going to be showing you how to configure dynamic ARP inspection on a couple switches. And why do we have dynamic ARP inspection? What's its purpose? Well, dynamic ARP inspection is used to prevent man in the middle attacks, it's used to prevent ARP attacks. So, how does it do it? Well, when a frame, if you have dynamic ARP inspection enabled on a switch, <clears throat> the frame will enter the switch, and then the switch will compare the destination MAC address, the source MAC address, or the IP address, or all three, and it'll compare it to the DHCP snooping database. That's why you have to have DHCP snooping enabled first. So if, you, if you're watching this video and you don't know what DHCP snooping is, go on my videos. I don't have many. I've got like 25 videos. Find the DHCP snooping one, watch that, and then come back to this video so you can do ARP inspection. So uh, how do we configure it? So let's go into the switch. We're going to go into switch zero. <clears throat> go into global configuration mode and dynamic ARP inspection is enabled on the VLAN so you have to you have to configure it to go onto the VLAN so we're gonna go IP ARP inspection VLAN well let me look at my VLANs first so we'll do a do show VLAN brief and uh, you can see I have two VLANs. I have, well, I have three. I have the native VLAN, then I have VLAN 10, which is tech, and then VLAN 20, which is HR. <clears throat> so we're going to apply dynamic ARP inspection to VLAN 20 and VLAN 10. So in global configuration mode, we go IP ARP inspection VLAN 10, and then I, IP ARP inspection VLAN 20. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. So with uh, dynamic ARP inspection, every port is considered untrusted until you say it's trusted. So right now, as, as we have it set up, all of these ports with all these PCs and the servers, all of these ports are untrusted until we say something is trusted. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say the servers are trusted. So we're in switch zero, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that port fast ethernet zero slash four, that's trusted. So IP, we're going to go into the interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 4 and then we're going to go IP ARP inspection trust so now we trust this port fast ethernet 0 slash 4 because it's going to the server so let's configure it on the uh, oh one more thing we have to do we have to do validate so you need to choose uh, by what standard are you going to validate your information so we're going to go IP ARP inspection and then the next command is validate and then we could do we could do three things oops I'm in the, I'm in the interface command I can't do this out of interface so go to global configuration mode IP ARP inspection validate and then we have three commands that we can go with we can go with destination MAC IP or source MAC or we could do all three if we wanted to so let's do all three destination MAC source MAC and IP all right, so now we're validating by all three. So let's go to the other switch and let's do some configurations. Actually, let's, let's check our work. Let's see how we did. So let's do a show IP ARP inspection. And we have, we have IP ARP inspection val on, on VLANs 10 and 20. Some more source MAC address validation is enabled. Destination MAC address validation is enabled. IP address validation is enabled. So this looks good. So let's go to the other switch and do the same thing. Global configuration mode, IP, ARP, inspection, VLAN 10. And then the same thing for VLAN 20. And then the next thing we need to do is set what is our trusted port. Do we have any trusted ports? And our trusted port is going to be fast ethernet 0 slash 4. So we're going to go into the interface. Fast Ethernet 0 slash interface, Fast Ethernet 0 slash 4, and then we're going to do IP ARP inspection trust. So that looks good. So next we can um, we can set up the validation. So exit out, go to global configuration mode, IP ARP inspection, and then validate. And then like I said, we have three we have three options. And we're going to do all three. So we're going to do source MAC. destination MAC and IP 
All right, and to check our work, we're going to do a show IP ARP inspection. And we have everything's in the source Mac validation is enabled, destination Mac is not enabled, IP address is enabled, and we're configured for VLANs 10 and 20, and it's active, so it looks good. And let's just run a simple ping command just to see. We're going to go with PC1 and we're going to ping PC3. Four, and we're getting replies so everything looks good alright and that's how you configure dynamic ARP inspection on some switches